This one allows you to quickly rotate images directly in Finder. This lets you adjust brightness and volume in smaller increments. Command, Control, and Q will lock your Mac. If you have a bunch of windows open and want to focus on just one, hold down Command and Option and click the window you want to focus on. Best way to switch between different views in Finder, Command and 1 through 4 on your keyboard. Command plus L will activate the address bar in your browser. In most text-based apps, Command plus T will give you all the font options. The letter U with the Command key will give you a cool underline, and Command plus K will let you insert links within your text. These are for italics and bolds. And here's how you maximize a screen without putting it in full screen mode. God, I hate the full screen mode. Hold down Option while dragging a file, and it'll create a copy and keep the original where it was. Option plus, the brightness key will jump into your display settings, and spacebar in your browser will jump down any website. This is a cool way to resize windows, and this is for switching between windows. Zooming in, zooming out, and if you need to pull a file path, Command Option C will do that. I don't know why you'd ever want to do that, though. Delete. This is useful. And so is this for showing or hiding your dock. Quick airdrops with Shift Command and R and Command plus E to eject drives. You getting dizzy yet? Let's keep going. Command plus D will duplicate stuff. And the pro way to jump into preferences is obviously Command plus the comma key. Shift Command and N creates a new folder. And Shift Command plus 5 opens all the screen recording tools. Bunch of windows within the same app? This will cycle through those open windows. Quick look, you all know this one. But did you know you can pull up an emoji keyboard with Control, Command plus Spacebar? Now you do. Command and the plus key makes them bigger if you like them big. Sometimes stuff just doesn't work, and you need to force quit your apps. And the tabs you use in your browser, they work in Finder too. And while everyone knows the basic copy-paste shortcuts, did you know that by adding a few keys to the mix, you can paste your text without changing the font? This is something I need pretty often, I just wish the shortcut was a little less complicated. Command plus S saves all your stuff. Command plus P prints stuff. I don't know if people still print stuff, but if you do, that's how you do it faster. Command plus A selects everything. And when you mess up, Command plus Z takes you back a step. Windows users hate this one. To rename files, you simply hit Enter. To inspect a file, hit Command plus I. If you're looking at multiple files at once, hold down the Option key while doing it. Command plus F lets you search for keywords within a document. And here's how you jump between spaces on your Mac. Spaces are kind of like separate virtual desktops. Command plus Q will quit stuff. Command plus W closes tabs and windows but leaves the app running. Command plus N opens a new window. Command plus O opens files. Hold down the Option key while doing it, and it'll open the file and hide everything else. This will hide apps and leave them running in the background. Do it while holding down the Option key and everything except your active window will go hiding. M will minimize your window into the dock. Same thing with the Option key, and everything gets minimized. Classic Command plus Tab is the best way to switch between apps. Add the Shift key, and you'll be switching backwards. Okay, I'm done. Try to memorize one or two of these, and come back later to rewatch and learn a few more. That's all I got. Thanks, I guess. See you guys later.